Hi everybody, Robert Jones back doing a little taste test for you so you don't have to, or something like that. Um, you guys, today I have two products I had never tried before. The first one, you may have seen, I know it's been around for a while, but I had never tried it. It's called Inca Corn, and the other one, in the birthday cake flavored craze, we have birthday cake flavored M&M's. Now, I'm a fan of the M&M's, but the birth cake, I'm a, little, I'm a little worried about. Which one first? Which one first? Let's do the Inca corn. No, let's do the M&M's. Let's do the M&M's first, because I'm trying to figure out which one's going to ruin my mouth first. Uh, worse. I don't think the M&M's are. So let's try this. Um, I am a fan of the m and I've always liked the M&M's. Um, although some of the flavors have gotten out crazy lately. Chocolate mint, no. Peanut, no. I don't like the peanut. All right, opening this carefully. Um, let's. Oh, let's give you some info here first. Let's see. We have milk, chocolate with sugar, chocolate skim milk, cocoa butter, lactose, milk fat, soy less than salt, artificial flavors, sugar corn starch less than one percent, corn syrup, dextrin, coloring using number one, lake red forty, yellow five, blue one, red forty, lake yellow five, lake yellow six, yellow six, lake blue two, blue two, lake artificial and natural flavors, gum acacia. May contain almonds, wheat, and peanuts for those without it. I'm tired just from reading the ingredients on that. Probably want to know some calories. One pack is approximately 190 calories. All right, let's give it a let's give it a flavor flavor. I'll tell you the one thing they did is they changed to these 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 plasticky bags, and I'm not so hip on that. So they look like regular M and M's, a little bit bigger. Um, they have the M. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, that's funny flavor. I think it's kind of funny because the sizes of the ones are different. Can you see the yellow one is so much larger? Which is weird because usually M&Ms are all the same shape and size. I wanted to crack it in half and see if there's anything. So it just looks like a regular M&M &M on the inside. Focus, focus. Okay. So first thing is, I like the size of these. They're bigger. I've always thought that regular M&Ms were too small. So I really do like the size. Um, it only apparently has three colors, red, yellow, and blue. For all that coloring information I just gave you, it only has three colors. Okay, here's the funny thing. So this is what I think it tastes like. I have a pretty good palate. So imagine you go to a birthday party of somebody who doesn't have the time to make a real cake. So they buy a box cake. And they make the box cake, and then they use the artificial, uh, it's just car after car here. They use the artificial tub frosting, and you bite into the cake, and it's really moist and delicious, and you're like, mmm, chocolate cake. And then it has that background of like, this is a box cake. That is exactly what these taste like. You taste the chocolate. And then all of a sudden... Boom, box cake. It hits you. These are not bad. I don't know how long these are going to be around. Um, I'm reading the package here. It doesn't say. All it has is the little the little M&M &M dude with a slice of cake. Can you guys see that? It's kind of funny. Um, these are pretty good. I actually, I like the size. I like that they're bigger. And I like the flavor. So I would give these a thumbs up. I'd give these a, an 8 out of 10. If they're on the regular m and M scale, you know, they're a 10 out of 10. But as a candy product, I think they're pretty good. I really like the size improvement. I don't know why that's so impressive to me. All right. Let's try the Inca corn. Inca corn. So I was reading this earlier. I thought this was pretty funny. It says, now you can reward yourself with the same imperial, capitalized, imperial snack that the Inca rulers used to reward their heroes. The real giant white Inca corn registered trademark. Only the largest, finest kernels are used in preparing and roasting Inca corn, trademark, for delicious light crunch. Manufactured Inca crops, S.A., in Peru. That's interesting. It says, product of Peru. So, let's give this a try. Wow. Now, um, I have this feeling it's going to smell and taste like corn nuts, so let's try 
It is not as strong as corn nuts if you've had corn nuts. So here's a piece of the corn. It is quite large. As you can see it's as big as my head. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. This is good. I will say this right off the bat. I would totally eat this again. Big corn. Mm-hmm. It's good. I just noticed here it says all natural, zero trans fat, and gluten free. So there you go. This is good. I like corn nuts too. Corn nuts always has a little bit of a rancid flavor to me. To me, it always tastes like a, the oil needs to be changed or something. These taste very fresh. They're in the. There's just in this packet. Um, the kernels are very lightly yellow, and I think this is kind of like what corn nut wants to be. These are better than corn nuts. Of a snack, I'd probably give these a nine. A nine. Um, the only reason is they're a tiny bit greasy, and I think they need a little bit more salt, but that's just my personal taste. I would totally buy these again, and um, I would buy them over corn nuts because they're bigger and they're lighter. You hear that? And they don't feel like they want to break my teeth. So, all right. So, Inca corn and birthday, birthday cake M&Ms. Um, we have two winners here. I like both of these. I would definitely buy both of these. Ooh, I might mix them together, make my own little trail mix. So, all right, you guys, give me a try. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And, of course, subscribe. Thanks, you guys. Have a good one. Bye.